So I said I would go ahead and film a moving vlog and so here I am doing that. So I have been spending the last couple of hours the night before we move kind of just preparing. Today is the 16th of October. It is 9.48 p.m. If you have been following my channel for any amount of time the last couple of years, especially the last like eight, nine months since really March or February, you know that I've had a problem with a specific person and the reason why we're moving is because back in February I had sent a copyright strike to someone who had stolen my content that I've had a huge issue with and I put my address thinking that my information would be protected and it was not. YouTube gave that information to this individual and then this individual proceeded to use that information and post all over the internet my address. That happened in February right before the pandemic hit and my lease didn't end until October. I let my local police department know that this happened and I contacted them in case there was any swattings or anything like that because that was my biggest fear is that our safety was at risk because of this individual. And now that we are moving and since we announced moving this individual is now saying that basically we are rental scammers who keep getting evicted. We're obviously not rental scammers and have not been evicted. I don't want this video to be about this, but I figured it was very important to add this part so that we can just clear our name even though I know I don't have to. But yeah, I will not continue on with talking about that just because I know that I don't need to, but I wanted to just clear that up. So I just want to show our apartment to show, you know, we didn't destroy it. This is the very last night. It is a older apartment complex, but it's not destroyed. So yeah, plus I wanted to just show you guys kind of where everything is, how we packed everything, and what our old apartment looks like. I like to have that for memory. I did a moving vlog two years ago. I will show this because I want it for my memory. So yeah. This is the kitchen and we are replacing the things just because I like to do that every place. I don't like to have to deal with any of that. We have cleaning supplies. That's like extra kitchen stuff. That's all food. Everything is empty. I literally just found out that we have a cutting board that was attached here. Had no clue. But we had this little cabinet thing for our food. And here, the only thing left in that is tray soups. This is all wiped out. But again, like I said, this stuff is old. So we do have some wear and tear from previous tenants. But yeah, this was our little kitchen. It was very small, as you can see. So moving into this room, this was a dining room. It's kind of hard to tell, but... This turned into my office, as you can see. So everything that is on top of here is gonna go in our cars. And all of my plants, I got a new big boy. <laughs> Trey bought me a new plant, a new plant, and then these are my other plants. That one, unfortunately, I think is donezo, so I'm really sad about it. This is all of my work stuff and decorations for my desk, and then my printer, that'll go. Computer will go. And then this was the living room. We're actually getting Trey's parents sectional. This couch is like five years old. It's just ready to go. <laughs> I hate it. I hate this glass table. But this is our living room. This is not how we had it set up. We actually had moved this to that wall and this was here. But because we were moving, I wanted to have a whole section of the living room to just put everything in. So that's what we did and have been just chilling out in this area for now. That's what I ended up doing with the eucalyptus. I put my veil and a couple of keepsakes from our wedding and a picture and made a memory shadow box. So this is all of the stuff that's also going to be going in our car. I went ahead and bought stickers from Amazon that mark what bedroom or what place. So this is bedroom two. It says if it's fragile or not. Kitchen fragile. This is actually going to be going in our car as well. I just did not want to wrap all this stuff. So we are just planning on doing that. But you'll see like master bath, living room, kitchen, storage, kitchen. I think it turned out really well to do that. Um, fragile, bedroom two, bathroom two. This is a shotgun. <laughs> Don't mind that. This is a plant thing I need to clear out because it has a bunch of dirt. I had plants in it, but I want to reuse it for something else. 
but this is basically everything that we own. So, yeah, interesting to see it that way. <laughs> but yeah, this was the living room and dining room area. It was actually very big. I didn't really like this corner because it just was awkward and we didn't have a lot to put in it. This is the hallway. I do have trash here. I've just, I've honestly been throwing a crap ton of stuff away, but Trey needs to put that away. This was our little storage closet and it's basically empty. I just have the cat stuff still up, a toolbox and then like utility stuff. Um, we have to put the cat inside that tomorrow and bring her to the new apartment and acclimate her before we move while we go to the apartment and clean. And then this was our laundry room. Our dryer actually broke like four months into it and then they replaced it, so that was nice. Everything is good. I actually have one more load to fold that I had, but this is our little laundry area. And then when you come over here, and this was Trey's bathroom, he's still in the process of putting everything away and cleaning everything of his. This was our spare bedroom. This stuff is also going in my car. This is all jackets and winter stuff. And then this was where Trey's gaming stuff was. That's all put away. That will be going in one of our cars as well. We had our spare bed, our little mattress, which is really good. I actually have a video on that. And then moving into here, this was our room. I'll go in my bathroom first. This is all empty except for this drawer has my toothbrush, toothpaste, my uh, deodorant and brush and straightener in case I need it tomorrow. But everything else is completely done and clean. It's very weird seeing everything out. This was where I showered. This is our little closet. Trey just needs to put his clothes away. I've already done my side. It was an okay size closet, but our other closets are better. We are doing family pictures on Sunday, so that's our clothes that we're going to be wearing. This nightstand is good. And there's the kitty girl. There's the kitty girl. Yes, yeah, you don't even know about tomorrow, huh? I feel so bad. She doesn't have any clue about tomorrow, and I feel so bad. So tomorrow is going to be a pretty big day for you, huh? She's been getting a little stressed out from us moving things around and packing, but... Overall, she's been doing good. She had surgery two weeks ago to remove a tooth, and she's fully recovered now. I don't think she's in any pain now, and she's kind of back to normal. You're being so cute, kitty girl. You're being so cute. And then we'll bring our cat perch tomorrow as well. We're actually going to get a new one, but keep this one and keep this probably in our bedroom. And then get a new one for the living room at our new place. But yeah, this is our new bed. We got another little mattress and then we got a bed from Ashley's for like 300 bucks, I think. It's actually a really decent bed. So it's kind of weird seeing this all for the last time. Tomorrow's the big day. We go at 10 a.m. to get the keys. Probably go pick up Trey's friend who's going to help us move. And I'll bring the cat to our new place with her food and litter box and I'll let her out. I will update you guys tomorrow at some point. I hope I'll be able to get as much footage as possible. Trey's mom and his friend are helping us move, so not a lot of people. And I had shoulder surgery, so it'll be fun. But yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys and I'll talk to you later. We have you haul loaded and I have the cat in her litter box so I'm gonna go head to the house and get the cat situated in the laundry room and then we're gonna start packing or bringing everything. So I let the cat out for the first time. She's been in the laundry room so I'm gonna see what she does. She's been meowing. <laughs> it has not been good. I think she'll be happy once we get everything situated. It's a big change huh sissy? You got lots of windows. I put her collar on just in case if she escaped. I know, honey, it's okay. So I've done just about as much as I can do unpacking wise until the next load comes and they still are not back yet. But I wanted to kind of show you guys a better picture now that things are kind of 
put away a little bit. So yeah, I'll do a little quick tour. So this is how I have the kitchen so far. All the boxes from the kitchen are completely done. The living room I think is going to be set up in this way. We're going to be getting a sectional couch from Trey's parents, so that's kind of why I think I'm having it this way for now. And then our bedroom, the bed will go there. Dressers on each side, I think. And the closet, I think I'm going to have Trey and I do separate closets. Just because this is a bigger closet, but uh, as you can see, I have a lot of clothes. <laughs> That's not changed. Kitty girl. Hi, sissy. Mer. This just has jackets and then storage stuff, I'm not sure. Laundry room hasn't changed. Bathroom hasn't really changed. And then I did a lot in here. I went ahead and put the bed up and organized that in there. Obviously, we'll be able to do better organization once we kind of get everything situated. But for now, that's how it is. And that's really all. Huh, Katie. So, yeah. I just wanted to kind of update you guys. Oh, that's cool. It's a medicine cabinet. <laughs> I just wanted to get you guys updated and just waiting for the next load to get here. So, things are going well and I really like it so far. I think I found the cat's favorite part of the house. That is one good thing is that... There are giant windows with these big sills, so she'll be able to go and explore on them. So I'm kind of excited for her to have that. <laughs> She's not okay right now though. <laughs> Poor girl. Okay, so we officially got everything, or unpacked, from the old house and Trey's mom and Trey went to go clean up the rest of the house since we have everything officially moved out and I'm going to stay back and unpack as much as I can tonight. We took Trey's friend home. It was very nice to have that extra help. But yeah, I am going to be unboxing everything and Hopefully things will not take as long as I expect them to. Basically the method to my madness is that I always like to empty out all the boxes as much as I can on the counters. And then when the counters get full, then I put away and move I just wanted to go ahead and give a real quick update. I've been working on unpacking, like I said, and Trey's mom and him are still doing um, all the cleaning and all that. So I've made a pretty big dent. The kitchen's basically done, just minimal stuff. And then <laughs> this is all of the boxes I've unpacked so far. So doing pretty good. Kitty, why? Right. There you go. Hi, sissy. Hi, sis. You're still pretty nervous, huh? You wonder where we're at. Say, so where are we? I want to go home. I want to go home. <laughs> okay, so it's the next morning. I think it's like 10 o'clock. We ended up sleeping in, but um, 
Yeah, that definitely wasn't gonna happen waking up early. Trey's mom got us a um, Keurig Mini for our one year wedding anniversary that'll be coming on next month on the 9th. So I'm going to make me and Trey a coffee. I'm gonna be having the Cinnabon little uh, classic cinnamon roll Keurig. We are still unpacking everything. Trey's taking out all the boxes now. I guess I can show you guys kind of everything. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish up the house and then I will show you guys kind of everything when it's all completely done. So I figured I would do a video one last time of our apartment so you'd have to walk up the stairs. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I have pumpkins. Our number was 2008, and now we can tell you that because we are gone. So, wow, it looks really weird. It's empty. Super freaking weird. Back patio. Oh yeah, that's a nice magnet. Our itty bitty kitchen. Gosh, it looks so weird. Going down to the laundry room. This was Trey's bathroom. Spare bedroom. And our bedroom. Closet. And lastly, my bathroom. So yeah, this is our last time ever in here. Yep. It's weird. I'm cool with that. It looks way smaller now. Yep. All right, well, I just wanted to show this is our view whenever you would walk out of the apartment. I just want to do this for my own memory. <laughs> so, yeah. This is our first apartment complex in the city, and we are leaving for good. It's weird seeing it be empty. Okay, so today is Monday and we went ahead and did everything last night. So the house is basically completely unpacked. I will say that we do have a couple of decorations and stuff that we need to get like um, kitchen rugs, entryway rug. I think we might get an entryway table. Uh, I just ordered our shower curtain for my bathroom and there's just a couple of little things like that. And then of course we'll kind of make move things as we need to, but for the most part, everything is done. 
So I just wanted to show you guys everything really quickly, not like a full official house tour because we are going to be getting a different couch and stuff. So I do want to do a video of showing like our actual apartment tour once everything is decorated and done the way that we want it. But I just wanted to finish the video out by showing you guys kind of what everything looks like with it all in. So we'll do that now. This is what my bathroom ended up looking like. I will have a shower curtain and I'm changing the mats in here. But that just hasn't came yet. And then this is how our bedroom ended up turning out. We ended up moving the bed over. I don't really like that. But I want to do it because the cat's perch, um, at our old place, she had her perch near the window. Eventually, I do think I actually want to put the bed on this wall. And then when we get a wide dresser, put it over here. But for now, this will work. So that's how our room turned out. We literally have nothing in here but the bed dressers and the cat perch. And then this is my closet. It's definitely not kind of how I want it to be, but this will be good for now. And I'll end up organizing that a little bit better in time, but I don't really care too much to spend too much time on it now. This is the living room. All that stuff is hang up stuff. We need to get special hanging up crap because we can't put nails in the wall. So that's why it's all over the floor. And also we're getting a new couch, so I don't want to put anything on the wall until we know where everything will be. But I tried to kind of organize this a little bit in the way that I would want it. That'll all change really and then I did put up fall decor. Which obviously won't be able to stay up until, well it'll stay up probably until Thanksgiving is my guess and then we'll do Christmas. We ended up putting the TV over here because we're going to have the big couch over here. So this is what it looks like for now and then all my plants will have to move. Because the couch that we're getting is Trey's, old, Trey's parents old couch. And it's a giant section which will literally be this entire area. So this whole section will just be couch. And we're getting rid of this, thank God. This is the bar that we have. So this is just going to be like for our keys and all that. And then just a little bit of decor. This is the way that the kitchen turned out. This is broken. I need to fix it. But it does say thankful. I got it from Dollar Tree. It's cute when it's not broken. Going down the hallway, the laundry room I don't think changed very much from the last time you guys saw it. I am going to get big baskets to put up here to organize and then we have the sign here because the little thing won't hang on the front door. The only thing that changed in here is I put the welcome little pumpkin and then the cat's food is in here and this is kind of a little bit of a mess but I'll organize that later. I just really wanted to get everything out of boxes and into the house in a single spot. So then this is Trey's bathroom slash the guest bath. There's really not a lot going on in here. We have our old mat and shower curtain. I actually bought this shower curtain not too long ago so I think it's really nice and looks good with the gray. So I'll keep that and then probably get a bath mat for the toilet and in front of the sink and maybe just a couple of uh, hand towels and stuff and then a little bit of decor on the wall and then this bathroom would be good. Kitty, I keep hearing you. Where the hell are you? There you are. Hi. You want to follow me? And then this is the gaming room, office, slash guest bed. We don't have everything for Trey to hang up his stuff so we're gonna get him a shelf but that stuff will just stay on the bed for now and this is Trey's gaming setup and my home office and that's all like work and like knickknack stuff that I use and then this closet is really Trey's closet slash storage closet as you can see. So there's a lot of random stuff in here, but hopefully in the next couple of months we'll be able to get rid of some of that stuff. I have clothes that I'm going to be getting rid of in those three baskets, or those two bags in that basket, so it will be going away soon. She really likes all the window sills. But yeah, I just wanted to finish out the video, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Sorry that I didn't get a whole lot of footage. I got what I could, but I will be doing a house tour at some point or apartment tour really but I'm so happy to be in a new place and to feel safe again and hopefully we'll never have to do 
that ever again because of being doxxed, but yeah, I don't know, knock on wood, because yeah. So, I'm gonna go though. Thank you guys so much for watching. May all your stars align, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.